it's Tamara Weeks with Tam's Daily Vlog. Thank you so much for being here today. And I am so sorry that you've not heard from me for many, many days. It's been almost a week since I have posted me or Micah. I have taken video and I knew that I wasn't going to be able to stay up on my feet days and days. But I got the video done and I thought, okay, so when I am down on the couch, I can get this stuff edited. But what ended up happening was... I would shoot video and I went to two doctors last week and I've been busy busy more busy than I should have been because now my hip is worse because I stayed up on my feet too long so then I would use all my energy being up during the day and then by the time I got to the couch I couldn't sit upright long enough I have to stretch my leg out because the pain increases if it's already hurting and I keep it bent you know like an L angle like sitting in the car sitting on the on a chair or something so anyway I so I was gonna edit some today and I went in there and I'm not sure what video is there and I'm not sure exactly what to do so I decided I would just post one real quick but look at my hair I don't know if I can I have the camera turned around so I can't see what I'm looking at because it gives um, it's clearer when I do that so let me see if you can see my hair. So my wonderful fan viewer that I have, um, her username is just always singing. I think that's right. Do I have that right, girl? She sent me, um, told me where to go look for this video for these rolls because I mentioned in one of my videos that rolls are really really pretty when you can get them right and I keep doing them and they're they're getting better but not really so I went and watched that video and so I was inspired now my hair doesn't look anything like the girl in the video she looks like a model and she could put herself on the front of the glamour magazine <clears throat> but it did give me a new hairdo so I don't know if I'm right in in the middle and her roll kind of came down here so what it is it's a ponytail instead of just doing a tiny roll it's one one whole roll and this is the um the microphone little um cover on there if i don't put it just right then you get a little bit of the you get a little bit of this in my video and since i can't see i went in to get off so it's in my hand let me see if we can put it in a pocket so i can show you okay so it's in a ponytail and then i rolled it from the bottom up instead of rolling it like i'll take my hair halfway down wrap it around my fingers and then kind of roll it up but this is rolled right right here is the the end of my hair so I started at the bottom and I rolled it all the way up so it doesn't look like the girl that did it really pretty but it is a new hairdo so tell me if you think I can get by with this hairdo the other thing that she did she showed a couple of really cool ways that you could put a scarf on your head and put it right across the um, now hers, her bun was down on her forehead, so she put a scarf across it, and then the bun's on one side and the scarf's on the other side. So I might experiment with that just a little bit too, but I'm pretty excited. I got a new hairdo, and, and it didn't take me too long to do it. So that is today. So let me tell you what's going on with me, and I promise, 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 if I have to get Micah a video and I just throw her up, I promise you will see Micah either later today or tomorrow. Today's Monday. So last week I went to an orthopedic doctor and he said that um, that my my hip seemed fine to him. He did all the same movements and stretches that the physical therapy had done and it was just making me hurt more. So he suggested that I go to a general surgeon to check for a hernia. Now I'm not a doctor, I just don't think I have a hernia and the whole thing is Something happened with the seat belt when I had the car accident back in April and we are now now about nine days out from being five months and I'm still in tons of pain. I've had limited mobility since the day we had the accident. So I am just hoping this gets done this gets um, gets a little better sooner. So I went to see him and then what I did was I took two days last week with pain and I thought, well I'll just take medicine like all day long, you know, every few hours going according to directions but you know taking medicine every few hours to see if I could just function with pain if I took medicine well that was a really bad idea because then I started hurting more so I had pain even while I was taking the medicine but then it finally just broke through so much that that put me down that was when in the middle of Wednesday so by late Wednesday afternoon I was in a in more pain than I had been in so bad idea to experiment like that 
So, um, so I've been up and down because, you know, I still have to go pick up my kid from school and I still have to drive here and there. And then when William's home, William does, you know, whatever he can do. I haven't taken any medicine since yesterday afternoon. I went to church Sunday morning. By 4.30 yesterday afternoon, I knew that I wasn't going to make it to church Sunday night. Um, I haven't taken any medicine since then. It just seemed like the medicine wasn't really doing anything, and I'm in a lot of pain right now. It's like a burning feel uh, in there, so we don't know what it is. So I went back to see my, my family doctor last week and told him what the orthopedic doctor said. So he wants to do a colonoscopy to see if maybe my colon is bothering anything. He is getting a, a, a picture of the... Um, the MRI that I had done, he just wants to look at that image himself and see what it looks like. Then, he might decide that he wants to run an ultrasound or a CAT scan because that's how you would be able to see if there's a hernia in there. But I'm assuming that he's not really buying into the hernia thing. Um, I'm not really buying into that, but I'm not a doctor, so I'm not going to say he's wrong since I don't really know for sure. But you know how we always have our own opinion, and that happens to be my opinion. So that's kind of what's going on. That's kind of the catch up with me and I have my new hairdo. So please comment on my hair and tell me and tell me what you think. And um, just always singing. Thank you so much for sending me to that video to give me a new hairdo. And I will try some more though with the rolls and see if I can get them better. So that's what's going on with me. Micah is feeling better since I did the last video. I think she wasn't feeling real well, and I know you guys get worried about her. I get worried about her when she gets sick, even, even if it's just a little cold, because Micah can't really tell me what's wrong. I really watch her and really try to pay attention, and I depend on everybody that takes care of her to help me know exactly what's going on with her. But she never had any fever, and she's doing much better. Um, by day five, she was starting to feel better. And she's gotten better every day since then. So she's good now. Um, I will be just fine and I will keep you posted. And I will talk to you very soon. And I promise you'll see Micah soon. I will look to the hills from whence cometh my help. For my help cometh from the Lord. And I'll talk to you I soon. I just tell Bye -bye. you one thing out here. We have this pear tree. Now this is the dog. His name is Bo. And Bo, every fall when the pears start falling, he eats them. He brings them up to the door. He tries to get them inside the house if he can. I don't really like him bringing them into the house. Sometimes he sneaks them in. But we have pears all over the ground out here. They're kind of fermented. It's stinky. This is the tree. I don't know if you can see how many pears. We need to have the tree uh, trimmed. You know, like groomed, but groomed is the wrong word for a tree. I think there's another word besides trim, though, isn't there? Is that the only word there is? Tree trimming? Anyway, I don't know if you can see because I can't see through the camera. But anyway, this is what we have in our backyard. And this is Bo eating the pear. And it makes him fat. See how big he is? Now, he's not as fat as he's been some of the time, but he is fat. And so I always say that he gains some weight in the fall when he eats the pears. Hey, Bobo. Bobo. Bobo, where are you going with your pear? Bobo. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.